It's thought that nearly 40% of UK taxpayers have the wrong tax code. And while for most people, the tax code should be 1257L, if you are a UK doctor with that tax code, you may actually be paying too much tax. Watch on as we break down the UK's tax code system and explain why you might be overpaying income tax. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you find this useful and want more videos like this. What is your tax code? It's a code calculated by Revenue and Customs or HMRC and it's used by your employer's payroll department to determine how much income tax you should pay under the pay as you earn or PAYE system. By providing a code, it tries to prevent your payroll department from finding out about your personal tax affairs. And also note that your, your payroll department, they've got no say over what the tax code is, and it's only HMRC that can change it. So your payroll department will operate the tax code they've given by HMRC and won't change it unless HMRC tell them to. At its most basic, it's made up of your tax-free or personal allowance with the last digit removed, and then a letter is attached to the end. Now, usually that is the letter L, and that just means you're a standard UK taxpayer. If you live in Scotland, you should see an S at the start of the tax code, and that denotes that you're a Scottish taxpayer. If you live in Wales, you should see a C at the start of your tax code to denote that you're a Welsh taxpayer. Now, the personal allowance throughout the UK is £12,570 for the current tax year. And as that's been frozen up until 6th of April 2028, it's going to be like that for a little while yet. Until it changes, the most common tax code in the UK should be £12,570 divided by 10 with an L at the end. So 1257L. Some people say it's divided by 10 and you round down. Some people just say knock off the last digit at the end. But either way, it should be 1257L for most taxpayers throughout the UK. Now you may also see the phrase CUMUL, C-U-M-U-L, next to the tax code. That means it looks at your tax position at the time it is applied within that tax year. So usually for most of us, it just means you're getting a portion or one twelfth of your personal allowance every time you get paid every month. But this can adjust based on what's happened previously in the tax year. For example, if you've been out of work for a couple of months, the tax code can give you additional personal allowance so that your tax position catches up. It's also why some first year FY1s, first year doctors who start in August don't pay tax initially. That's because they've got some personal allowance to use up from April to August. You should be able to find your tax code on any pay slip or P60 or P45 that you receive. You may also get a document through the post from HMRC called Form P2. That will give you a breakdown of your tax code. You can also find it online via your personal tax account as well. So various different ways to find your tax code and check what it is. So why might you have a different tax code to 1257L or S1257L or C1257L if you live in Scotland or Wales respectively? You know, why might it differ? The pay as you earn system is not an exact science and under and over payments of tax are common. Use your tax code to tax you extra if they believe you've underpaid tax or give you money back if they believe they owe you or will owe you money. And as the tax code is HMRC's way of taxing you, uh, if they think there are reasons why you owe them tax, they can alter your tax code to claw that money back. So the 1257 might be decreased to take that into account. But if it is, you will then pay extra tax each month to pay back what HMRC think you owe them. And the lower the number, the more income tax will be paid in the month. Some people also may have a lower number because they have employee benefits in kind, such as private medical insurance or company cars. Uh, and this is how HMRC collect the tax due on those. These are unlikely to be of uh, relevance to healthcare professionals. Um, I don't think many of us get company cars or private medical insurance, but you may have friends, family, partners who are affected. If HMRC think you owe them more than your personal allowance of £12,570, they may actually apply something called a, a K tax code which is the negative tax code, so-called because a let the letter K is applied before the number. And this will result in even bigger uh, income tax bills each month. 
just to be aware if you have sadly got a K tax code, the maximum amount that they can um, take back is capped at 50% of the income received. Still obviously a huge amount of your salary going, but that's capped. They can't take more than that. But it works the other way as well. Okay, so if HMRC think that they are going to owe you tax relief, then they will increase the number in the tax code. Now, you may recall at the start, I said to you that if you are a healthcare professional or a doctor, you and you have the standard 1257L tax code, you may be overpaying income tax. And that's because if you claim for tax relief for your allowable professional employment expenses, such as GMC fees, Royal College fees, indemnity insurance, BMA fees, etc., then HMRC should subsequently change your tax code to give you tax relief on these expenses every month. So you can see at the bottom right there, this is a, an example of someone who has claimed their GMC, Royal College and BMA fees worth £1,140. And that's resulted in their tax code becoming 1L. So that person, that doctor, he's now got a, a higher um, tax code, which means that every month he's going to get that little bit extra um, tax relief or he's going to be paying a little bit less income tax than he would if it was 1257L. And that's so that HMRC can give him tax relief on his employment expenses every month. So make sure you check your tax code. And if it is 1257L, just think about whether you have any allowable employment expenses or not. And by making a claim, you should not only get a tax rebate, but then HMRC will change your tax code to give you that tax relief every, every month going forward, which means you don't have to keep claiming each time. If you haven't claimed your expenses, then please do go to the Medics Money website and look at our free step-by-step -step guide to claiming your allowable employment expenses. As I say, it's completely free, you can download it, it just takes you through it step-by-step -step to make that claim, get your employment expenses, get the tax back on your employment expenses, and then as I say, HMRC will then change your tax code. They may also give you, by the way, a, a larger number in your tax code if you have other, if there are other reasons. So for example, if you make regular donations to charity, or you're getting other reliefs such as marriage allowance or VCT re relief or EIS relief. We're not going to go into those. Just be aware there are other reasons why your tax code may have a higher number. Sometimes you might see some very different tax codes, which are usually entitled the emergency tax codes. If you see a code 0T on your payslip, HMRC have basically completely removed your personal allowance and they're then applying the relevant income tax rates, say 20% and 40% to your income. But note they've taken away your personal allowance completely. This often happens if uh, your new employer has no idea about what, what your personal allowance should be or HMRC haven't really told them. So you may see the zero T tax code, but it's basically the first of the emergency tax codes. If you see a code BR, basically they're taking away your personal allowance completely and they're taxing everything you receive at 20%. If you see code D0, they're taking away the personal allowance and taxing everything at 40%. A code D1 means they are taxing everything at 45%. This would be the same in England and Northern Ireland and Wales, although Wales, you'd see a, a C in front of those codes. In Scotland, these D codes are slightly different because if you see an SD0, that means you are being taxed entirely at the intermediate rate of 21%, while SD1 applies the higher tax rate of 42%, and SD2 applies the top rate of 47%. It's just because Scotland has, has more tax, tax rates, so they need to have a change in the tax codes to accommodate that. Now, HMRC often do this if they feel you have more, or no, you have more than one job, and that can make sense. So if I work in England, let's say, and I have my main job with a salary of, again, let's just say £55,000, then it would make sense for a D0 tax code to be applied to any locum work I do at another trust, as this would then correctly tax my salary at 40%. A big problem often arises when doctors move from one trust to another on changeover day in August. 
This usually results in a payslip from the old employer and the new employer in August, and it confuses HMRC into thinking that we have two jobs rather than the truth, which is that we're changing jobs. This happened to me when I was uh, an FY1, I was working in Guildford and I had my standard tax code and everything was going fine. It was slightly higher because I'd had some employment expenses and so on. But in August, I moved to Chichester to start working in St. Richard's Hospital in Chichester. And I was then put onto a zero T tax code from September. And that's because HMRC saw that I'd got a, a payslip from Guildford, which was, I think, for the dates of the 23rd of July up until the 6th of August, I think it was. And then a payslip from St. Richard's from the 7th of August to the 23rd of August. So they said, OK, clearly Ed's got two jobs at the same time and we're going to put his Chichester job, which in their point of view was this new job I'd got. They're going to they put me on a zero T tax code. So I was overpaying tax. So definitely check your main payslip. OK, you may see these on your locum payslips if you get an extra income in and that may be fine. OK, but check your main payslip. And if you see code zero T or D zero or on there, you're almost certainly paying too much tax. Okay. The table below compares a normal tax code with these three emergency tax codes. And you can see that there's a significant overpayment of tax with a zero T or D zero tax code. So I took as an example, a pounds, I just picked that number at random. Okay. But look what happens if you apply the, the tax rate. So if you have a 70,000 pound salary, and you're on the 1257L tax code, which as I say, may be actually wrong for you as doctors because it maybe should be higher than that. But anyway, imagine you were on the standard tax code. Then your tax bill would be 15,432 pounds for the year. Now, what happens if you apply the zero T tax code like they did for me when I moved from Guildford to Chichester? Now, just for the broadest of doubt, my salary was not 70,000 or anywhere near that at that time. But anyway, imagine I was on £70,000 with a zero T tax code. I would be paying £17,186 um, on that salary. So you can see it's a big jump um, from the, the correct tax code to this emergency tax code. And it gets even worse. If imagine they applied D0, then you're basically going to be paying £28,000, which is just an extraordinarily high amount of tax if you're meant to be paying just over £15,000. If you see a BR code, that will often mean that you're being undertaxed. OK, so just watch out for that. In our example here, if you had £70,000, you would be paying £14,000 when you should be paying £15,432. So it does work both ways. But HMRC are less likely to put you on a BR code than they are a 0T or a D0 or an SD1 in Scotland code. If you think that your tax code's wrong, OK, then check out our blog all about what to do to get your tax codes changed. If you go to our website, medicsmoney.co.uk, we've got a blog all about it and what to do to change it. You can, strictly speaking, you can call HMRC and get them to and discuss it and get them to change it. I know that some people do that and it works. It works OK if you can get hold of them. But you can use your personal tax account online to do it. Uh, and we show you how to do it at medicsmoney.co.uk. It's also useful to note this for those times when your professional expenses change. OK, so what do I mean by that? Imagine I am paying £500 to, let's say, let's say I'm paying it to the BMA. OK, I'm just picking them as, a, as an example. Imagine I pay £500 to the BMA and so I'm getting my tax relief every month via my tax code. But then the next month it's, I don't pay it. I, I cancel my subscription. OK, what I can do is I can use um, the personal tax account to let HMRC know and they can adjust my tax code accordingly. Or imagine that you, you've got your expenses for one year and they all increase. So your Royal College fee has gone up, your GMC fee has gone up, your BMA fee has gone up, all your fees have gone up and you are entitled to more tax relief. Rather than making a whole new tax claim, you can go to the personal account and change your tax code to, so it reflects the true amounts. Okay, you let them know, let HMRC know using that what the new expenses are and they can change your tax code for you okay that's it for now hopefully you feel a bit more confident about tax codes check out our website for more information on tax codes and until the next video that's bye for now and take care